Okay, so I've known, uh, I know that I've posted a video like this before, but uh, I just found out that there were multiple other ways uh, to tell the gender of a tortoise. So yeah, uh, I'll be going over those. Uh, Dozer is walking over there. Here's Roxy. Uh, yeah, I might need him in a minute. Here, I'll just show you the stuff that I can do without him. Eh. So, here's Koopa. So, basically, um, the easiest way to tell their gender, which you can only do when they're like five years and older, because that's when they're like more mature, is that the males plastered on the bottom of the shell will be concaved, like how Koopa's is. See that? Like, it's like inward. And then the female, if I can get Roxy real quick. They are all trying to kill each other right now. Uh, the female, their plastron will be much flatter than the male. I mean, it still can be like a little bit concave, but it'll be like a lot flatter. And then second is the tail. So generally males, they will have a longer tail, like how Koopa's is longer. And Roxy's is shorter. And yeah, and then males they'll walk around with their tail tucked in, like how Koopas is tucked in right here. And females will walk around with their tail out like this. And the other thing with tails is that uh, right here on these part of the shell right here, there you can see it. Uh, it'll like by the tail it'll be like in a V shape for males, and it will be in a U sheet shape for females. And then the last thing with the tails is that ah, there's an ant on my computer. Is that males they'll have like a line going down their tail and females will have like an X, like how you saw in Roxy's. And then lastly males will uh sorry, uh Kubo's trying to eat her up. Males will have longer the gular horns, like how Roxy has this gular horn right here, uh, because they use that to fight other males with. So yeah, males will generally be longer. And then with like behaviors in desert tortoises, both male and female will uh, be dominant, so they'll try fighting each other. So yeah, and then with other ones, I think it's the same for some of them, but I'm not sure if it's the same for all of them. But yeah, the males will generally be larger, and the females will like have a longer kind of shell because they need to carry the eggs. So the males will be bigger, but the females will be longer. So yeah, that's basically all of it. Um, I hope you. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you learned stuff from it. And, yeah, um, bye.